Hey, welcome to 30 at 5 on 560WIND.com. I'm your congenial host, Mike Moore. Happy Friday, everybody. So I open up the newspaper today, and I want to thank Mike Clark of the Chicago Sun-Times. says, radio host calls for corporate backing to save city sports. North's Solutions sponsors. I want to thank uh, Mike for putting this in. Now, I had seen his article, his column, which was well uh, uh, written uh, a couple days ago. He had talked about certain things he could do. He did not know that I had already pitched this to Ron Huber and his people. Now, Hubes wasn't there. I call him Hubes. Uh, he wasn't there, but other people were, and they liked it. Uh, in the deal, I want all the sports administrators in the public school, they would handle the money as dispensed by an individual board of civilians, so to speak, not uh, people that are employed by the Chicago uh, public school system or the Board of Education. I was going to get 15% because I was going to make it a full-time job. It says here today in the paper, and you can check it out on uh, chicagosuntimes.com or in the paper at page 44. It says here, it's hard to see what the problem was that North was pitching. Uh, basically, what Mike North wants is a board of civilians. But see, that's not good because then it will be harder for them to blow the money. If this is in the paper today, Regardless, you would think somebody will reach out. I'll keep you guys apprised of what's going on. If Mayor Rahm Emanuel's administration gets a hold of me, if the Board of Education gets a hold of us, if anybody gets a hold of us, I got an idea maybe they won't because they can't really do an incompetent job if there's people that hold them accountable. Now, there's $600 million to a $1 billion in arrears from what I'm reading here. How's that working? But those same people are going to continue to run the city sports. If we lose city sports, the city's done. Okay? I would encourage Mayor Emanuel or whoever is in charge to bring me in and let me bring in other people or talk to me about what I would do. And if you want me out, fine. Fine. But you should use this model because the model you're using, Mr. Mayor, you can't be this stupid. You can't. Please tell me you're not this dumb, that you're going to continue going down this road. I don't think you are. I think you want to save the schools and save the kids, too. Put your money or put your actions where your mouth is. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Petrino, the Arkansas head coach, calls a press conference after being in a motorcycle accident, or they call a press conference. He denies he was with anybody. He says basically he was alone. Then we find out there's some 25-year-old hottie. An assistant, why would he have not have said she was on the bed? She works for me. We were on our way to the administration building. Hey, people could go, hmm, what were you going to do there? Hmm. But to say you're alone, when they come up, they see in the accident, and there's this hot blonde on the side of the road with no car. She just happened to be walking down a road with no car. And to think that this guy, who's had issues before, not these types of issues, but, you know, cutting it and running, signing contracts and leaving. I mean, his character is in big-time question right now. But why would you say you were alone when you know the next day good reporters are going to find that out? So by saying you were alone, that means that whatever you were doing with her might have been inappropriate. Now, there's people jumping the gun that seem to have been in the bedroom or in his office or whatever thinking that something happened already, which I find irresponsible. Maybe he was working her. Maybe he hadn't gotten to it yet. Maybe he wasn't doing anything. Maybe he just decided to impress her and take her for a ride on his motorcycle to make him feel better. But nobody can say he actually had relations with this woman until we hear more. And for anybody to say that would be irresponsible. That's all I'm saying. Now, that doesn't mean that he isn't in a big-time mess, folks, because he is. Hey, the Chicago Cubs, they're back. They're back. If you're rebuilding, why do you keep remnants of the past there? Hey, you see that, uh, you see that engine on this uh, a brand-new cruise line? What? Yeah, you know what that engine's from? What? The Titanic. I'm not going. I don't care if the engine sound. I'm not going. It's from the Titanic. Kerry Wood. Carlos Marmol. You know why Kerry Wood plays for low-end money now? Besides the fact he's got millions from Jim Henry and the Cub organization in the past. Because it's good business. Okay? But what we saw yesterday was unacceptable. Okay? You're making a lot of money. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Also, today, beautiful out. 
Nice out sacks getting ready to tee it up against Texas. Hey, spring is sprung, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mike North for 560WIND.com. Flood Brothers Disposal and uh, Recycling Services are professional waste haulers. Now, the Flood family is big on service. It's our number one priority, and we offer extremely competitive pricing because the Flood family is here to help you in this tough economy. Remember, at Flood Brothers, we build relationships, and the only thing we're big on is service. Call us at 773-626-5800 or floodbrothersdisposal.com.